welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today we're checking out a new range of oak drinks. Now they're named quite different um, and I'll show you why. So this one here we're doing today is called Paul, Paul's S'mores Please. Now this one was uh, create the, the, the flavour was created by a guy named Paul. So on the side of the box, it actually says, Trust Paul to make a complex thing nice and simple. Alongside teaching kids to code, he also manages to turn a toasty chocolate marshmallow campfire treat into a delicious drink. How's that for programming hungry, thirsty away? So Paul came up with the idea of making an oak drink, schmores. Now, I've had s'mores before. It's like a... Uh, a biscuit, marshmallow, chocolate, toasted, squished together, and then you eat it. So, I'm thinking this is going to have a biscuity, marshmallowy, and chocolate taste to it. I don't know what the colour is yet because I haven't opened it. So, I've got two glasses here. One for me, one for my offsider. Now, let's give it a quick shakey shake. Shake shake. Shake shake. And we'll open it. Again, it says open. I'm, I know that one. <laughs> Whoa. A little bit of foam came out. Let's give it a pour. Okay. So it's a chocolatey coloured drink. It's sort of a bit reddish as well. So it's... There we go. All right, now I've dished this up to two separate glasses. It's time to see if we want some s'more of these. <laughs> it's taste test time. All right, so in front of you, you have a glass of Oaks Paul S'mores, please. Now don't swear at me, say it so I can understand okay, it. Okay, so it is a oak drink, oak drink. inspired by oh, yeah. s'mores. The guy that uh, s'mores. that picked this, his name is Paul. Paul S'mores. Yep. And Paul picked a flavour called S'mores. Ooh. Um, so we're expecting biscuity, chocolatey, marshmallowy uh, flavours out of this. Smell chocolatey. I can smell biscuity. I can smell a little bit of chocolate. Don't really know what marsh marshmallow really doesn't have a smell, does it? No, it's sort of pretty straightforward. Mm. All right, so we're going for a taste. Yeah. Mm. All right. Quite nice, isn't it? I'm getting the um, the tone of marshmallow there. It's the same, similar one that you get when you have a wagon wheel. Mm. The marshmallow. Mm. The chocolate's there. The biscuit is just floating around. Mm. It's quite nice. It's very mellow. It's not a uh, punch to the face. It's not a punch to the face. No. Mm. Could get used to it. Alright. Not, not over sweet. No, it's not. Which I'm pleased. Yeah, I could, I could quite easily... Time. To give it a score. I'll give it a four. You give it a four? Now, they've got some very interesting names for these. They could have just said it's a s'mores flavoured oak and we'd really be done with it. Um, Paul's a s'mores, please. Um, yeah, look, it's a bit of a play on some some bits, bits of words there. Um, I'm happy with it. I think uh, I think a three and a half is is, to, is a suffice a half, four, yeah. for this. Um, would I buy it again? Maybe. I would, because I think it is not as sweet as straight chocolate. That's true. 
that is true. And it's got more of a, a it's got different tones in it than, yeah. than compared to plain. Yeah. All right. So yeah, look, maybe I would buy it yeah. again. So you gave it a four. I'm giving it a three and a half. It's a seven and a half out of ten. Just remember, if we can get you to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you in the next video. As I say, if it was sweeter, it would be sickly. Yeah, it definitely would be. I, don't, I, I think they've done well with the marshmallow not being a, a too big of a punch to it. But uh, yeah, the chocolate, the chocolate biscuit you can smell, and um, the marshmallow you can taste in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to slander it. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's quite a nice, uh, chocolatey flavour. Yeah, I got them at Coles. There, there's, there's a new yeah. range of them. They're available at, at, at uh, your local Coles store. All right, let's um. Well done. Yeah. Let's go on for the next one.